We are in full on competition prep. We have about 40 days today from competition. We're trying to really dial everything in. We got our nutrition dialed right. We're starting to meal prep. We got training just picking up more and more volume. Don't want any elbow injuries. So we're also trying to do a lot of prehab, rehab type shit. And we're just trying to stay on top of it for this competition. My expectations for the competition, I don't necessarily expect to win. I would love to, that's always the goal, but I just want to make myself proud and I want to learn a lot about where I stand currently. These workouts that have been released really aren't something that would consider wheelhouse, but I don't want to have wheelhouse things that limit me all the time. I, I think that's pointless. Like, what's the point of training to be a CrossFit athlete and be overall well-rounded, but have stuff that prevents you from moving on or anything along those lines. That being said, I just want to use this to learn a lot about where I stand currently and where I need to go. Pick one jump in here because I know I said I was ramping training up, but I didn't really explain necessarily what I meant. If you guys have been following me for a while or if you guys just know basically where I stand on CrossFit and like competitions, after the open, I basically decided to cut out Matt Cons to cut out like basically everything except strength and skill work. Those are my two biggest holes. Um, if you look at my performance, my worst test was the thruster test. And then also, if you look at where my other two tests were that uh, were probably, I want to say they're the lower ones from this past open, it was because I was hindered by a skill movement. So ring muscle-ups, didn't do a single one. Still haven't done a single ring muscle-up, which is something that I really struggle with. I need to fix it. I need to get it. Like, it needs to happen. So the next lower workout was the one with the handstand push-ups. I can do handstand push-ups, but under fatigue, they were a lot worse than... <laughs> I mean, obviously not under fatigue, but in general, whenever I train handstand push-ups, for the most part, they were without any fatigue. So, those two things, strength and skill, have been my biggest focus. Um, then I decided to start throwing in a Metcon when I decided to start ramping up training. I was doing, like, one big session a week, plus my normal sessions, and that big session would have probably about two Metcons in there. That's when I was going to CrossFit 643 to train with Austin Kelly and if anyone else was there, which I'm pretty sure Eric was there a few times. And then I hurt my elbow. Ever since then... I've slowly started getting back into it, and now I'm back to doing basically a Metcon a day plus my normal strength work and my skill work. So, slowly getting back in better shape. And I noticed that I was meal prepping. Everything I picked in meal prep, they stopped making. So basically right now I'm just trying to track my proteins for the day and make sure that I'm just not eating obnoxiously because otherwise that's what I would do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's super short, just trying to get something out there for now. I gotta test all the workouts, um, so that's gonna be coming in here shortly. Make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys like, make sure you comment down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Much love. Take care of yourself. Peace.